tubes have fallen all around, perseverance is soon underway. Thanks to it, we're much obliged for such a fruitful stay. But now it's time for it to go. The spring moons light the way. For now, the delta calls, and when it's reached, science is headed our way. On this episode of Mars Guy. Since late December, Perseverance has spent more than 30 sols, methodically dropping off 10 sample tubes in what's referred to as a sample depot. Here's Mars Guy for scale. As I presented in episode 90, this is part of an effort to ensure that if Perseverance can't successfully deliver its precious rock samples to the return rocket, then at least some of them can be picked up by two Ingenuity class helicopters and delivered to the rocket. This plan B is an eggs in two baskets strategy. The plan B basket is a smooth plane free of big rocks chosen to allow the sample recovery helicopters to safely land and drive up to individual tubes without disturbing the surrounding ones. Each helicopter can only pick up one tube at a time, so no point in clustering them together. This led to the plan to strategically drop each tube in a spot separated by at least 5 meters from its neighbor. The scene on the ground was imaged by the Watson camera out on the end of a two meter long selfie stick known as the robotic arm. But unlike the selfie you might take, this one required 56 individual shots that then got stitched together back on Earth. And this selfie took nearly 45 minutes to shoot. But like selfies on Earth, this one is clearly posed, showing the cameras on the mast in a purposeful orientation which in this case allowed MassCam Z to document the color variations in the wheel track. Science. There have been other science observations in the sample depot. Among the small cobbles are light toned rocks with purplish coatings that look like paint that's eroding off, or is that peeling off? I've presented other examples of these rock coatings in episodes 25 and 77. Coatings like these are common on earth rocks, where some combination of water, dust, and microbes often contributes to their formation. A role for microbes on Mars obviously would be a huge discovery, but it's very likely that some combination of just water and dust has produced these coatings. Some of the samples from earlier in the mission may have captured bits of this purple coating. When returned to labs on earth, you can be sure that they will be a high priority in the search for microbial life on Mars. With all 10 samples dropped off as of Sol 687, the time is now for Perseverance to ramble on. It will head up on the delta beyond the bacon strip that it's already found to contain organic matter. See episode 76. As I presented in the previous episode, Ingenuity has already arrived on the delta but now the full set of images from that flight has been downlinked. They show a jerky takeoff from the sloping ripple with eight footprints left behind in the sand. The flight took ingenuity over more of these mega ripples than over rover tracks made more than five months ago, then to the rocky edge of the lowest delta deposit, which it captured with its color camera providing this impressive view of the crumbling rocks. Ingenuity continued to follow the tracks until reaching a point where it stopped to scope out a safe landing site using its onboard software, although you may question its choice. In future flights, Ingenuity will continue on up the delta, doing reconnaissance for perseverance like some kind of low-flying zeppelin. 